guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing my everyday school makeup i haven't posted a video in over a week so i kind of need to do that and so that's what i'm here to do and i was thinking well in my last video i said like oh i'll um show you guys my everyday makeup routine if you guys want to see it no one said they wanted to see it but i'm still going to film it because i don't know what else to film i could film a vlog but you know whatever also comment down below i'm going to be going to turkey soon to visit my family so if you guys want to vlog of that comment and say yes you want a vlog of that because if you guys don't then i won't but I kind of want to vlog when I'm there. It probably won't be like an everyday like, hey guys, today I'm doing this and this. It'll probably be like a little montage vlog because I'll be with my family and stuff and I don't want to be recording the whole time. So yeah. Anyways, this is a really long intro and so let's just get into the video right now. So I'm going to be looking over here while I'm doing my makeup. But yeah, and I didn't get ready at all. I'm literally still wearing my pajama pants. I just threw on this t-shirt so that, well this long sleeve, so that it looks like I got ready, but I didn't. First things first, I wanna moisturize my skin and get it prepped for any like um, foundation or anything. I washed my hands before this, by the way. So, okay, anyways. So the first step that I always do is I always put on chapstick before any makeup that I do just so that my lips aren't crusty if I put lip gloss on at the end and they're nice and moisturized and they don't look chapped so I use the Burt's Bees original I think yeah this is the original oh vitamin E and peppermint I think this yeah this is the original I use that for my lips then I use the Murad, Murad. This is the Skin Perfecting Lotion. And I just use some of that for lotion on my skin because it helps with acne as well. So I'll just like put that all over my face. It's actually pretty thick as well, so it's great for the winter that. Cal Southern California is having right now. Okay, so um, I've been using this product for a while and I really like it. It's the Maybelline um, BB Cream. Mine's, mine's, mine has 2% um, salicylic acid and it's in the shade 110 light, light medium, which looks like this. I should get it from Target. None of my products are like high end because I buy most of them with my own money and i don't have a lot of money the only money i get is like from christmas and like my birthday because i'm 14 and i can't work so yeah um which kind of sucks i kind of wish um i think they're like saying bae-saying actually because they need money you know because when you're at 14 15 and you can't get like an actual job but like your parents expect you to pay for everything it kind of sucks because where do you get the money from you don't get the money you don't get any money from anywhere yeah, and this is a light coverage, so it might look like a lot, but it's actually not. <sighs> and I just blend that in with my beauty blender. This is the Artistry Exact Fit Perfecting Concealer in the shade Light. You can't really see it because it's like, like a mirror kind of, but yeah, it just looks like this. And um, this is the only high-end product, I guess you could say. No one really knows about it. But it, my mom buys it online. She bought it online for me. So, yeah. Okay, I need some music because for me this is boring. Because I'm just talking to myself. Okay, I'm just blending everything in. I, I just took off that makeup. That's so fun, you know, I just love that for me. This pimple right here is so gross, so we're not even gonna talk about it. Because I don't want to. Okay. Alright, so then I'm gonna use this brush. This one's from Artistry as well. My mom got it for me. 
And I'm using this, I didn't even show you guys. I'm not a beauty guru. It, it has the, okay, I'm using this Bare Minerals Matte, I think it's foundation. Matte foundation, yeah. With SPF 15, it's in the shade Fair. So, and then I just use that under my eyes. I use it as powder. I would normally use the um, NYX HG Pro Finishing Powder. I think that's how you say it. Um, I use, I would use that one, but I'm all out of that one, so I need to go get a new one. But yeah. Went into my eyeball. Okay, I'm okay. Okay, once I'm all done with powdering my face up, I go into bronzer. I don't know what that was. Okay, I go into bronzer, and I use this bronzer. I don't know where it's from. Okay, this is from my mom, and I need to get a new bronzer because Lord only knows how old this is. This is so gross, I should not be saying this, honestly. This brush. And I think kabuki brushes are for, um... Ew, my hair looks so bad. Are for, like, cream contour and stuff. But I still use it for this. And I put it on my face. Yeah. So I'm just gonna bronze up. We're gonna listen to music. Okay. So now I'm all bronzed up, I'm going to take this brush, this little eyeshadow brush, and go in with the bronzer, and I'm going to contour my nose with bronzer, because I don't have contour. I think this is honestly contour. I don't know. I don't have the package. I know that like, bronzer is like cool tones and contours warm tones or is it I think it's the opposite I love the way Hailey Morales does her nose contour I love Hailey so much so I'm just gonna do my contour I do my nose contour like hers cause it turns out actually really good okay that was too high Then I take the same brush and I just go under my lip because it creates more of like, I think like fuller lips, more like a pout lip. So I just do that. I like the way it looks, it adds more shadowing. Okay, then I take this brush right here, this little brush. Should I go into my powder? Okay, and I just take it and I dab it on where I want it to be lighter. Okay, there we go. Then, after all the bronzing and face stuff is done, I'm going to get to my eyebrows. Use this e.l.f. Um, brow pencil in the shade Neutral Brown. I I have really like full brows which I'm very thankful for. Thank you parents for my jeans. But at the end it's kind of sparse. Like it's super full up here and then it gets kind of like sparse. So you see, see that one spot? Like I'll just fill that in. I literally don't fill in my eyebrows at all because they're really thick. Just do that. I don't fill in up here because that's already all full. Gucci tennis shoes running from your issues. That song's stuck in my head. Okay, then I use this. I don't usually use this, but it's just one I got for Christmas. So I'm just going to use it until it runs out because it's the same product as everything else. So I have this brow, Victoria's Secret Brow and Never Clear Brow Gel from Victoria's Secret. That's upside down. So I'll just brush the ends down and then brush up the top and like kind of go around the brow. That's how I make my brow. Okay, 
and let me do the next brow this this is like i feel like everyone has like a worse brow you know one that's like better than the other one this is my worst brow like it's harder to cooperate with it doesn't want to cooperate with me but it's fine like this doesn't ever want to stay up like it just doesn't okay brows are done now we're on to the final steps of my makeup so i got this for christmas the naked heat palette from urban decay and i'm going to use that today i usually don't wear eyeshadow to school but okay that's just because like i don't have time for it but when i'm doing my eyeshadow just like regularly if it's on the weekend or something i i'll do my eyeshadow but it's not a lot but I don't do like a whole thing. I just put a little bit of stuff in my crease and then that's it. Yeah. I'm going to go into Chaser. Wow. And I'm going to use the brush that it comes with just because I don't want to use my brushes. I'm going to use this side. And I'm just going to put it all over my lid just to give it a base color. And then I'll go to this side and I'm going to use um, Sauced. And I'm gonna put that in my crease. That's literally all I do for eyeshadow. That's all I do. I guess it kind of looks like a lot. I think that I look the same. Okay, that's good. Then I'm gonna take this. Oh, I'm gonna take this eyeshadow brush that I have for this reason. And this is actually a crease brush, but it hurts when it's in my crease. It's like a pointed brush. Hmm. This is also from Artistry. And I just, I'll go into Sauced and I'll take a little bit of it. And I bring it onto my lower lash line. Boy, I invented you. Gucci tennis shoes running from your issues. Now that I'm done with that, we're done with my eyeshadow. It looks so bad to be honest, but. I don't really care, so I might just do it. Okay, so I'm gonna curl my lashes. Ow! I got my eyelid in it. <laughs> and I use this CoverGirl Lash Blast la Lash Blast Volume Mascara. I use waterproof because, you know, if it's raining or if I'm gonna go cry in the bathroom at school. You gotta use this. Waterproof mascara. I take this, it's just like an old one like cleaned out. It doesn't look very clean because I use it a lot, but and I just use that to separate my lashes so that they're not, and like get rid of clumps so they're not all clumpy. And then I do it on my bottom lashes too. And then I do the same thing. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush right here and I'm gonna wipe off that powder that I had on. I'm just gonna wipe off the oh, Okay, everyone's going live right now. I'm just, okay. It keeps popping up on my screen. I use this Nomad um, highlighter in the shade Midnight Sun. I think my stepmom got it like in her, not a, f it's not a Fab Fit Fun box. But it's like one of those things and she gave it to me. So I don't know where you can get it. Probably at like Sephora or something. But, yeah, it's a really nice highlighter, and it has a lot of pigment in it. So it just works really well. Okay. And then the inner corner...
one right here. Okay. I just gotta say this. I probably look so different from the beginning of this video. But this is what I like to do. Um, so don't come for me. Everyone that watches this from my school, which is literally only the only people that watches watch this, are probably like, what the heck, she never looked like that at school. But I will sometimes. I used to do it at this beginning of the year all the time. I used to always wear makeup. But then something was like, I don't want to get up this early anymore. So I stopped doing it. Mm. All right. Now... We set with the Mari Badescu, Badesco, Badescu, I don't really know. What it is. Why is it so bright? Okay, well now you guys are moving. Um, the, the rose water spray. Oh that feels so good, you guys don't even know. Okay. Dry. Then, I take this Artistry <laughs> um, lip gloss in the shade pink nude i'll either use this one or clear the elf clear lip gloss this one's so gross just like that's gross like it has lip gloss all okay that's i need to clean it but this is one of my favorite shades i think pink nude and it's just a nice natural see i did on my bottom lip not the top you can't really see it it's just really lip gloss and to be honest I don't put this in my backpack, so it comes off halfway through the day, and I don't reapply it. So it literally only stays on for first period, and that's it. <sighs> okay, now there is my everyday. That's really not everyday makeup tutorial. I'm probably not even gonna title this everyday makeup tutorial. Just my makeup routine. Okay, I got. A lot of comments about doing the duck face too much last video, so I tried not to do that. So, yeah. Thumbnail. You're gonna get a thumbnail. Thumbnail. Okay, I'm done. Bye, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I don't have no social cues. I'm out for you.